guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Soph and we talk about books, beauty and whatever I feel like talking about that week. I try to go for at least two videos a week, but sometimes my schedules just don't add up. But I'm doing pretty well. Also, hello to all the new subscribers. Again, I don't know where you have come from, but we love having you here. Today's video, I thought I would do a my what's on my book wish list video because I have a lot of books on my wish list and I feel like I just need to talk about them in case there's anyone looking for book recommendations or anything like that. So I actually have two wish lists. I have a Waterstones one and I have an Amazon one. I don't like buying from Amazon, but those books are ones that the UK doesn't really sell, so they're not like in Waterstones, basically. I'm not gonna go over every single book. I'll go through like the ones that I'm most looking forward to or the ones that I really, really want. But yeah, let's just get into the video. So I'm gonna do my Amazon one first. So I'm just gonna get my book wish list up. So the first ones that are on my wish list are actually the Canterbury classic leather bound books. So I've actually got the Brothers, the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales one, Hans Christian Andersen's Complete Fairy Tales, and the Ancient Greek Philosophers. So I will put them like here. Things. Oh, and classic works from women writers. They're absolutely beautiful as you will be able to see when the pictures are here. Next, I have A Song of Wrath, Wraths and Ruin. I, I had a lot of people talking about this, which is one of the reasons why I picked it up. For Malik, the Solstasia Festival is a chance to escape his war-stricken home and a new and start a new life with his sisters in the prosperous desert city of Ziran. But when a vengeful spirit abducts his younger sister, Nadia, as payment to enter the city, Malik strikes a fatal deal. Kill Karina, Crown Princess of Ziran for Nadia's freedom, but Karina has deadly aspirations of her own. Her mother, the Sultana, has been assassinated, her court threatens mutiny, and the Solstasia looms like a knife over her neck. Grief-stricken, Karina decides to resurrect her mother through ancient magic, requiring the beating heart of a king, and she knows just how to obtain one by offering her hand in marriage to the victor of the Solstasia competition. When Malik rigs his way into the contest, they are set on a heart-pounding course to destroy each other. But as attraction flares between them and ancient evil stir, will they be able to see their task to the death? So it's almost like an enemies to lover and it just sounds really good. I don't really have much more to say because I haven't looked that much into it, but I just heard a lot of people talk about it, so it caught my eye. I also have um, number one in the Zodiac Academy series, which I found out on my own like a little while back, but now it's like all over TikTok. You have been selected to attend Zodiac Academy where your star sign defines your destiny. If you are one of the Fae, elemental magic is in your blood and apparently it's in ours. As twins, born in the mo month of Gemini, we're a rare breed. Even in this academy of supernatural a-holes, changelings were outlawed hundreds of years ago, but I guess our birth parents didn't get the memo, which means we're totally unprepared for the ruthless world of Fae. Air, fire, water, earth. No one has ever harnessed all four of them until we arrived, and it hasn't made us an e any friends so far. As the rarest elementals ever known, we're already a threat to the four celestial heirs, the popular vindictive bullies who happen to be some of the hottest guys we've ever seen. It doesn't help that they're the most dangerous beasts in the academy, and probably on earth too. Our fates are intertwined, but they want us gone. They've only got until the lunar eclipse to force us out or and they'll stop at nothing to succeed. We never knew we had a birthright to live up to, but now that we do, we intend to claim our throne. We can't expect any help from the faculty when it comes to defending ourselves. So if the dragon shifters want to target practice, want some target practice, the werewolves want someone to hunt, or the vampires fancy a snack, then we have to be ready. But we've been looking after each other for a long time and fighting, fighting back is in our blood. Today's horoscope, to totally screwed. This is a full length medium burn novel that is the first in a university age academy series. Expect forbidden teacher romance and bully romance with mature content super suitable for upper young adult readers and onwards. So honestly that sounds like Harry Potter, that sounds more like Harry Potter for adults than Deadly Education was when I read it. So I'm really excited for that one. 
I of course have the two next instalments of the From Blood and Ash series because I'm reading that one at the moment and I'm absolutely loving it and I'm not ready for it to end so I need to get the books before I finish. I also have Crescent City, A House, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass, which is a, her newer series. Half Fae, Half Human, Bryce Quinlan Loves Her Life. By day she works for an antique antiquities dealer selling barely mag barely legal magical artifacts and by night she parties with her friends savoring every pleasure Luna Theon otherwise known as Crescent City has to offer but it all comes crumbling down when a ruthless murder shakes the very foundation of the city's and Bryce's world I'm all down for it I love anything to do with Faye <laughs> since um A Court of Thorns and Roses I'm like yes all for the Faye world I also have a few um, graphic novels, which I would just put on the screen. I have Mooncakes, The Sad Ghost Club, and Sheets, which are just all super cute looking graphic novels. I then have Punk 57, which is a romance about, it's got like bully romance in it. Um, and I will read you the blurb. Okay, here we go. So Punk 57 is a romance novel and I heard about it when Jodie from the channel Vanilla Moon was reading it with on her read-alongs and she really enjoyed it so I thought I'll probably enjoy it. We were perfect together until we met. Misha, Misha, I can't help but smile at the words in her letter. She misses me. In fifth grade my teacher set us up with pen pals from a different school. Thinking I was a girl with a name like Misha, the other teacher paired me up with her student, Ryan. My teacher, believing Ryan was a boy like me, agreed. It didn't take long for us to figure out the mistake, and in no time at all, we were arguing about everything. The best takeout pizza, Android versus iPhone, whether or not Eminem is the greatest rapper ever. <laughs> Amazing. That is so me. And that was the start. For the next seven years, it was us. Her letter... Her letters are always on black paper with silver writing. Sometimes there's one a week or three in a day, but I need them. She's the only one who keeps me on track, talks me down and accepts, accepts everything that I am. We only had three rules. No social media, no phone numbers, no pictures. We had a good thing going. Why ruin it? Until I run across a photo of a girl online. Name's Ryan, loves Gallo's pizza and worships her iPhone. What are the chances? Fuck it. I need to meet her. I just don't expect to hate what I find. Ryan, he hasn't written in three months. Something's wrong. Did he die? Get arrested? No, Amisha. Neither would be a stretch. Without him around, I'm going crazy. I need to know something. Someone is listening. It's my own fault. I should have got his number or picture or something. He could be gone forever or right under my nose and I wouldn't even know him. I just realised that when I said Misha at the start, that was from Misha was from the guy's point of view and Ryan was from the girl's point of view. So, and it's got a lot of five stars, like a lot of five stars. <laughs> so, I hope that I like it, otherwise I'm going to feel so bad <laughs> if I don't. That is like the main ones on my Amazon wish list. I also have the Crave series, but those were my Waterstones one as well. So I'm gonna hop over to Waterstones. Number one on my list is Kingdom of the Cursed by Kerry Maniscalco. It is the sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked, which I absolutely adored when I read this month. I gave it like four and a half stars and I I'm really struggling having to wait for the next instalment, so I've bumped that one up to number one on my wish list. The next three that I really want to read is the Crave series, um, which is a supernatural like romance fantasy sort of, sort of thing. If I just read you a bit of the blurb, there was nothing normal about Cat Mirror Academy or the students in it. Her uncle's exclusive and secretive boarding school is the last place Grace wants to be. But after the tragic deaths of both her parents, she is left with no choice. Soon she realises she's entered a world like no nothing she has ever known. Shapeshifters, witches and vampires roam the halls, existing in uneasy cooperation. As the lone mortal, the only thing Grace is sure of is that she doesn't belong. When she meets Jackson Vega, a vampire with deadly secrets who hasn't felt anything for a hundred years, something in him calls to Grace, something that could spell her death. It's like Twilight, but not Twilight. Better than Twilight. <laughs> So I put like the first, I don't know how many books are in the series, but I put the first three, I think. 
because I know I'm gonna like it so I then have Bridgerton but I don't really need this book because obviously I've seen the show and I'm pretty sure the book is just like the show apart from some minor details that I've already heard about I then have Threadneedle which I've been waiting um, for this one to come out for ages and now it's finally out so I need to get my hands on it Within the boroughs of London, nestled among its streets, hides another city filled with magic. Anna's aunt has always warned her of the dangers of magic, its twists, its knots, its deadly consequences. Now Anna counts down the days to the ceremony that will bind her magic forever. Until she meets Effie and Atus. They open her eyes to a London she never knew existed, a shop that sells memories, a secret library where the librarian feeds of words, a club where revellers lose themselves in a haze of spells. But as she is swept deeper into this world, Anna begins to wonder if her aunt was right all along. Is her magic a gift or a curse? This sounds so good. Like, so good. And now that it's out, there is a bunch of reviews and they're all five stars. We love to see it. So that is like, I need to move that out of my list because that's probably like second. I also have the Serpent and Dove, um, like trilogy, but a lot of people have not really enjoyed these books so I'm not sure how much I want them now I thought they sounded really good when I first read them which is why they're in my um wish list but yeah there's been a lot of mixed feedback so I'm not sure how much I want that one of course I have the um Court of Thorns and Roses series because I need to read the next ones. I have Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. Save the world or end it, a strange darkness is growing in the ward. Even Corrine and Amaret can feel it, tucked away in her small town at the edge of the sea. Fate knocks on her door in the form of a mythical immortal and a lethal assassin who can tell Corrine, who tell Corrine that she is the last of an ancient lineage with the power to save the world from destruction because a man who would burn because a man who would burn kingdoms to the ground is raising an army unlike any seen before bent on uprooting the foundations of the world with poison in his heart and a stolen sword in his hand he'll break the realm itself to claim it and only Cor Corain can stop him sounds so good i have the inheritance games which loads of people hyped over the maidens another book that's in my wish list because of jody from vanilla moon i have the lost apothecary and i also have the two these violet delights books by chloe gong and yeah so there is a lot on my wish list and a lot that i want to get my hands on and over the next month i imagine i will get a chunk of them because obviously it's my birthday um i've been saving up money for when me and connor go away so we're gonna go shopping and yeah so i will do another haul very soon i imagine and hopefully most of those books will be on it and they can go into my august tbr maybe let me know what's on your wish list. I'm always looking for recommendations. Like, give me all the recommendations. I'm sure I've missed some. Sometimes I scroll through TikTok just to get recommendations. And if you've read any of the books that I've put on here, let me know what you think. Because some of them do have, obviously, mixed reviews. And some of them have really good reviews. So, let me know. That is it for today, guys. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and give us a subscribe so you don't miss another upload. We love having you here. I love having you here and I'm really enjoying making the, these book contents soon I'm not sure how soon because I know they're quite delayed but soon I should have a fairy loot unboxing and an Illumicrate unboxing coming so keep an eye out bye guys